That's good. It works. I like it. Hey everybody, so just like I said, I got a new shotgun. This one is actually mine. I just picked it up yesterday morning and I even took it out shooting last night. Um, as you just saw in the intro there, it is the Mossberg 590A1. Um, I've been shooting a lot of shotguns this past nine months or so. This, this whole year, 2021 has for me been a big year for shotguns, right? So, I mean, I've, I've shot the, uh, I've been shooting the shockwave types. Uh, I've been shooting the Benelli's, the Supernova. I did a video on that one. I shot an M4 a couple times. I've been shooting, um, semis. I got my my 930 right here. I got two different types I've been shooting. So I've really covered a lot of bases, I think, for um, shooting a shotgun. And to be honest, this is the first pump shotgun I've, I've ever owned myself personally. And what brought me to that choice was this past year of really spending some time with shotguns and figuring out what I like and what I don't like. And it's funny, you go back to what's tried and true in the end anyhow not that any of the other guns I shot were uh, not good or up to par or up to what I needed but there's also a little bit of nostalgia with this gun for me um, I'm not going to get into that but I am a little partial just to the Mossberg uh, variety so let's take it from a quick uh, front to back back to front top down whatever you want to call it on what this particular model of the 590A1 is because it comes in some different setups uh, from Mossberg. I know you can get the, the Magpul furniture, you can get the, uh, I believe it's the Mariner type where it's got the different uh, coating on there, uh, bead sight, ghost ring sights. Um, I'd have to go on the website and uh, find all the different varieties, but it does come in some different uh, setups from the factory and I was not even looking for a pump shotgun because I'm super satisfied with my 930 and what I've done with it as you've seen probably in my previous videos on upgrading the build up to it and like what I see is a perfect shotgun and that's my 930 but this I just I saw it and I just couldn't pass it up because it was obviously it was a great price okay it was second hand um, and it looked to be unused. Like it really looked like it had not been shot at all. You know, on a new gun, when you first load a couple rounds and you get that little, that little, uh, metal on metal rubbing mark from the casings going in, that's what I was getting. So this is so untouched, I think. And the, the stock's original. And of course it has the, uh, speed feed stock, which I think, um, looks cooler and is cooler than maybe actually how it functions more on that later but let's take a quick look at it um sights so we've got a nice big uh post in the front with some orange uh paint on there it is not tritium or anything like that it's just uh, like a fluorescent orange paint um you got the ghost ring sights in the back Adjustable up and down, left and to the right, and your basic, uh, what people like to call ambidextrous safety. It's just a safety. It just happens to work both ways. Um, again, cool, cool, cool piece. You've got the bayonet lug. Amazing. And it's, it's just a pump gun, and it has a bayonet lug. To me, that's super cool. So this one is the 20-inch barrel. Uh, it's the A plus one. You can also get an 18 and a half, but this is, I want to get the 20 inch. I, I like it. I, the 930 I've got is 18 and a half, but for capacity, I wanted to do the uh, longer one. And I'm telling you, I just got real lucky and I just walked in the store and I just happened to see it. The guy didn't even know what it was on the shelf and I spotted it. Um, another deal with the 590 is that most people are going to know is going to be the, the uh, not the polymer 
Truder, but it's gonna be the steel one. Um, the Remington 870s have a steel receiver. This one has an aluminum. Uh, I think they did that for weight savings. But all in all, it's, it's a 500 series shotgun. So everything that comes with that, it's great, you know, and most people know what it is. It says, this is as American as it gets right here. This is Mossberg uh, 500 series, 590, whatever you, whatever you got, 590A1. It is as good as it gets, in my opinion, as far as a do-all shotgun, and every home should have one of these, I believe. What do I plan to do with this? Um, is this gonna be my house gun? This is gonna be my truck gun, whatever. I don't have anything in mind for this. I just wanna use it and have fun with it. And also, I don't plan to do any type of heavy, heavy upgrading to this. I don't even know if I'm gonna put a sling on it. I'm just not gonna use it in that um, capacity, okay? Um, I kind of, for nostalgia's sake or whatever, I wanna keep it kinda as is. Um, I do think there, if you're gonna go with a pump shotgun, there's probably better ways to um, accessorize this thing. Um, of course, medical furniture is great. Um, I, I'm not gonna say it's better or worse. I mean, I've used it. I'm, you know, it's it's good. It works great. It's a preference thing, like a, like many things are in um, weapons. But for this gun, I just think I'm just gonna keep it just the way it is. I'm probably gonna shoot it till I'm super tired of it. And I might just hang it on the wall and it might just look cool in my house above the fireplace. I think that's where this gun is with me. It's just a really cool uh, firearm. And it's one of those firearms that it's modern enough to where, you know, there's no wood on it or anything like that. But it, it definitely has a look to it that I really, really enjoy. Um, as far as having a shotgun that I'm using for other purposes, perhaps, you know, home defense, whatever. Um, I've got this one and I'm very confident with this one. It's the 930. Those other videos really go into more detail about what this is and why um, or how I came to be with this particular setup. And we had this out last night with this one and we were shooting in the dark, doing things like that. And this thing just slays, but you know, so as far as the 12 gauge, um, I'm covered with the 930, but this one, as it stands right now, it's just gonna stay the way it is. And I'm just gonna use it for fun. Um, so if you want to tune back in and check out uh, more shooting from this 590, I'm gonna have a lot more of that in an upcoming video because my buddy just happened to get an 870. Oh, it's the TAC Express. I'm not sure what trim level it is, but it is one of the more uh, tactical types. And it, it, it comes you know, with the ghost ring sights and all that. So it's kind of like a direct competitor to this. So we're gonna take them both out, get some good video of uh, shooting all that. And hopefully I can compile like maybe a, a comparison video. I'm gonna tell you right now, <laughs> I'm gonna side with the Mossberg, obviously, because, you know, it's what I like. And my buddy went with the Remington, and that's all good. Um, very popular gun, very well used. It has made a name for itself as well, so there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, it's the Mossberg, right now, anyway. So, please stay tuned and check out that upcoming video. I don't know when it's gonna come out. I just wanna make sure I get good footage and lots of rounds so you can really see, um, the uh, capabilities of these guns and really get a good eyes on on that. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Thank you for the thumbs up. Um, those really help me out and all the comments. Um, for all you negative Nancys, I appreciate it. Thank you for all the constructive uh, criticism and little tips and the people that have pointed me in directions of other companies and things to check out. That is awesome. So thank you very much for that. So. Remember to get out there and train and stay safe and have fun above all. Have fun with what you're doing. So thanks for tuning in, guys.